we're going to create things to purchase. And I'm going to go with, I think, just fruits because there's apples and we'll go bananas. I'll just do apple first. I'm going to grab all this code because it's similar to what we want. I'm going to drop it onto Apple. So over in Apple, when the play button is clicked, uh, now I don't want to set money. I want to create our own variable here for Apple. So I'm going to go make a variable. Now notice money is already here. Uh, and this click just determines if it's displayed on the screen. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look at the upper left of the screen here, if I uncheck it, money still exists. It just doesn't show the value on the screen, which is totally fine. I'm going to leave it on the screen just so we can see the values at all times. We're clicked on Apple now, and I want to make a variable just for the Apple. And because it's only for the Apple, I'm going to call it my cost because it's the cost of the Apple. Later, we're going to add another piece of fruit. And it's really important you click for this sprite only. So it only applies to the apple, not to the other piece of fruit we're going to add later. So you see money's still here, and now my cost is here. And we're going to set my cost, not money to this brand, but my cost. Now, we're working in dollars. Uh, apples, a single apple doesn't really cost more than a dollar. It costs usually a little less than a dollar. Uh, I usually buy apples several at a time for several dollars, but it's not certainly an apple is not between seven and twenty dollars for sure. So we're going to do a little arithmetic here. We we'll go operator. I'm going to use division here. I'm going to take the random value first and divide it by one hundred, and that will give me um, a sense value. And I'll do. Let's say an apple is between 50 cents and maybe 200 cents. And it's going to divide by 100, and you'll see what it looks like. And now, when you drag this over, you can't drag just the part of it. You have to drag. It's really hard to see, but you can't just drag the first piece. What you have to do is drag the slash or the division symbol in order to move it. So I'm going to put this back in, and I'm going to drag right here. It's between the first and the second operator. Now I'm going to drag this and we want to set my cost to this random value. Now if I hit play, uh, oh, we should change the text. It should be I cost. All right, I have 18, I cost 19. Uh, what is going on? Why? Those should both be 18 right there. I don't know what's going on. I cost two. That's quite strange because it says money is 18 and both of them are set to right here. You can see money. All right. But anyways, I don't want money there. What I want is my cost. So the variable my cost is what I want there. We'll get rid of money. There we go. So now you can see the results. It's the random between 50 cents and 200 cents divided by 100. Uh, if I take out this, if I just divide by one, uh, that will have effect of not doing anything. Uh, or maybe I will uh, just go like that. So you can see our cost, and it's anywhere between 50 and 200, but I want to take that and divide by 100 so it turns into how many cents something costs. All right. So that's a more reasonable cost for an apple. It's maybe a little bit pricey. Let's do 120, 50 to maybe 40 to 120. That's a more reasonable cost for an apple. You don't have to be super realistic in this. All right, I'm gonna click back on Sprite 1. Now, in Sprite 1, uh, one thing you'll notice in variables is there's no cost. There's no cost down here. Why is that? When I click on Apple, Apple has my cost. But Sprite 1 does not have my cost. Why is that? Because when we created that variable, remember we said for this Sprite only, which means my cost, the only Sprite that knows about my cost is the Apple. So it will have its own my cost variable. And you can see up here, it says Apple colon my cost because my cost belongs to the Apple. Let's go ahead and make a second Apple. I'm going to duplicate. 
Now Apple II, uh, it's a little hard to see. We're clicked on Apple II and I'm gonna click on my cost and now you see Apple II my cost. And if that's called Apple II, I should call this one Apple I just to be consistent. So we have one Apple II. Uh, I wanna do something different to Apple II. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Apple II costumes, fill, green. All right, we're going Granny Smith here. The best apple. All right, so we got a green apple and a red apple. Great, hit play. There we go. So they each have their own cost and you can see Apple one my cost, Apple two my cost. So we got two apples and they each cost a different amount of money. Uh, you could change the uh, range a little bit. Granny Smith's, maybe they're a little bit cheaper. No, it won't always be cheaper because there's a random, but it will be a little cheaper on average. Uh, so you can see the different values here. And of course you can see Apple one, my cost, Apple two, my cost. Next, we're gonna have these numbers interact. 